That's a good card. So is the Gitrog monster. Cool. And a choked estuary. We've got some shadows over Innistrad stuff here. Great. Choked estuary. Another Teleria West. Okay, cool. Uh, that's a buck. And Teleria West was like 15 bucks. So there it goes. Splendid Reclamation and a Sleight of Hand. All right. Uh, 250 for the Reclamation. Ooh, we got a Mythic there. Sleight of Hand from 7th Edition. Come on, where's the foil version? We had seen two of those. Haven't seen many foils in this collection. I know what that's all about. Um, Void Winnower. 585. Well, that's good. Oath of the Gatewatch did have some okay stuff in it. Smoldering March. I'm sorry, Balfour Zendikar. I know what I'm talking about. Okay. Oh, an Aggravated Assault. That's good. From the Explorers of Ixalan. I think that's like one from the Challenge decks, right? Spellseeker from Battle Bond. Not familiar with this at all. Has it, was it a reprint? Five bucks. Where did that one come from? First printing in Battle Bond. Let's see, what does it do? Human Wizard for two and a blue. When Spellseeker enters, enters the battlefield, you may search your library for an instant or sorcery card with a converted mana cost two or less. Reveal it. Put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Wow. Little tutor there. That's great. We'll keep that. And World Spine Worm. And a Temporal Mastery. Great. All right, World Spine Worm. We found one of those before. That's like a $12 card, right? Temporal Mastery. There's a good one. Nine bucks there. Temple Garden, all right. Love a good shock land. Those have come down, of course. Five bucks though, still. Next bit. Breeding pool, all right. 1190, well that one's holding its value. Pass two, three, four of those. Whoa, Vendelion click. Or is it Vendillion? Not sure, that's great. So brainstorms. One, two, three, four of those. Oh, sweet. Wow, Vendelion Click is a good card, but Surgical Extraction is even better. 20 bucks there. Oh my gosh, two of these? Well, these have spiked recently up to 60 bucks. Times two. Now we're really getting somewhere. We're over 2,000 now. Unbelievable. Another. 200 some bucks to go or less than 200 bucks to go and I get to break even completely on the whole lot and this is just the bonus this box was not even shown in the listing awesome predict buck 76 two of those flooded strand yeah okay I was wondering where any good lands might be in this because I had not seen any dude 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 Playset of original onslaught flooded strands. There we are. This is this is the goods right there. For those. Uh, okay, remember what I talked about? Almost breaking even. Jeez, I think we're gonna get there. Rest in peace. Ten bucks. Supreme verdict. Four bucks. Pithing needle. Five bucks, amazing. Uh, almost there, counter spells, one, two. Oh my God, you're kidding me. A real dark blood moon? I think that's gonna do it right there, counter spell. One, two. 
I don't even want to see what the next card is yet. A Blood Man from the Dark. Oh, another one. What else is there? I'm back to basics. This is great. Okay. Scanning time. I see Planeswalkers come up, coming up next. Okay. 71 times 2. Well, I have uh, I definitely exceeded my... Where did I put those? Exceeded what I paid for the lot completely uh, with a lot left to go. There's a whole box in there that I had seen on the listing that I thought was going to be the good stuff. We're not even to that yet. I, I don't even know what to say. Here we go. Back to basics times two of those. And a freaking Jace the Mind Sculptor. Ah! What? More than one. Okay, what happened here? <laughs> I'm flipping out, you guys. Okay. <laughs> I gotta... I to. I lost my mind there for a minute. Let me uh, regain it. Holy crap. Two back to basics. Of course, they have come down a bit, but the original Urza Saga is going to be more than the Ultimate Masters version. Times two. Wow. Okay. Next up. Okay. One of the best cards that you could find. And there's one, two, three of them, and an Arid Mesa behind it. Okay. I'm going to have to like take that stack and just one at a time it. You're kidding me. These got a little play. They've got, they've been picked in and out of uh, sleeves. Ah, but there they are. 98 oh wait hold on that's the wrong version the world wake version 103 times three sweet okay there they are okay next uh there's an arid mesa I don't even, I, I think I want to do it like this. I know this is, this is goofy, right? Um, okay. There's an Arid Mesa. 38. What's next? Watch it just be some conspiracy stuff. Dark Ritual. Okay. That's just going to go right there. This is a good card. Oh, and this one was upside down. Ah, Stone Rain. Oh, okay, and then it flipped over. That's hilarious. And a, and a beat up tragic pose. So that was it. That was the goods right there. <laughs> All right, I'll flip it back over and we'll just resume normalcy. Unbelievable. That one's trash. Consume strength. Panic attack is about... That's what I'm having right now. You're kidding me. Erase. Ristic Study. I was hoping to see some of these. I'd seen Ristic Lightnings and Ristic other stuff, but wow, unbelievable. Hey, we're frozen. Ristic Study is 18 bucks now. Oh, that one's got a little bit of issue on it. I've, over the years that I've been picking lots, I've seen this card go from like seven bucks all the way up to 18 bucks now. It's gonna get reprinted eventually. It's, uh, it's a pretty dang good card. Um, I'll put it right there. Cap size. Buck 46. Okay. Oh my god! The hits just keep coming! Oh, is there another one? No. But there's a land tax. Oh my gosh. This is great. I love Cavernous Souls. I actually pulled a foil one out of a pack back when it was in standard. Uh, that doesn't go there. What are you doing? It goes right here. Uh, and a land tax from Battle Bond. And another one. And I don't even... It looks like a Sensei's Divine Top. Alright, I'm spoiling it here. So I'm back into stacks of good stuff. Should I flip it again and try that again? Oh my gosh. Alright, land tax. 22 bucks. And there was another one. Okay, two of those. And we saw there was a, what was this? I already forgot. Sensei's Divining Top. Yep. Another good card. 
22 bucks there. What's next? Okay. Path to Exile? Okay. Um, different printing. Conflux. There we go. All right. What's next on this stack? A uh, resplendent angel M19. So they went all the way from the dark to M19 with some good stuff in this stack here. And that's really good for a newer card. Resplendent angel. Next. Oh. A uh, Staff of Domination from Fifth Dawn. Uh, I like these because they're 32 bucks. Amazing. Uh, again, I'm running out of room here. <sighs> My total is going out of control here. Next. Breeding Pool. Another Breeding Pool. Cool. But being we had seen one of those. It's down here somewhere. I don't even know where to put it. Okay. What's it going to be? Conspiracy Commons, another breeding pool, sure. Another breeding pool, sure. If I slow play it like this, it's gonna be a long video. Another breeding pool, all right. Well, there's a full play set of breeding pools in addition to the one that I had found earlier. Now what? Godless Shrine, sure. More shock lands. Guess I, I okay. I'm seeing a trend here. Two of those. So I flip them. Uh, whoa! We got a stomping ground too. Godless shrine number three and the stomping ground. One of those and scan the stomping ground. Here we go. Amazing. Uh, okay, what's next? A watery grave, of course. Oh, I'd like to see some more fetch lands. Tragic, you're all disappointed in all these shock lands. You really are greedy, aren't you? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a good time now. Another watery grave. Ah, oh. and a blood crypt, of course. The whole cycle here. This is nuts. Sure, why not? I don't know if I really should be doing this flip thing. Overgrown Tomb. Overgrown Tomb. This is gonna take forever. All right, so should I flip it over and just do it the right way? All right, Overgrown Tomb and Steam Vents, great. And a Temple Garden again, Steam Vents. This is getting out of control. Temple Garden, oh, it's that was the end of it. Okay. Flip. And that's not much, so some older stuff. Wow, what a little batch that was. Are you kidding me? Whoa, a Bountiful Promenade, another one of these Battle Bond dual lands. And his battlefield tapped unless you have two or more opponents, uh, green or white. Uh, that's pretty decent. Great. Good for Battle Bond or for Commander, right? Sword of Feast and Famine. Okay. That's a good one. <laughs> That's pretty good, right? 35 bucks. Uh, I'm, I'm astonished. And then we got a Teferi. What's next? Okay, an upside down card. Let's flip, flip it over. A couple bucks there. A Consecrated Sphinx. Okay. That's great. 14 bucks from Iconic Masters. Got an Iroas, God of Victory. 
six bucks. That's a keeper. Lonely Sandbar. Angel Token. Steely Resolve. And a Laboratory Maniac. It's eight bucks. What does it do? As Steely Resolve comes into play, choose a creature type. Creatures of the chosen type can't be the target of spells or abilities. Well, that's good for any tribal then right there. Well, especially green. So, elves, Laboratory Maniac, and a Nature's Will. Great. That's a good one. Laboratory Maniac was reprinted in Ultimate Masters as an uncommon. So the rare from Innistrad is still two bucks, but it used to be more. Nature's Will from Champions of Kamigawa. 1763 oh man where do we go from here there's just this little stack left we've exceeded what I paid for the whole lot by a thousand dollars plus I've got unopened boxes and haven't even got to the good stuff yet I'm feeling pretty good what do we got here muddle the mixture <laughs> and aspire garden from battle bond okay it's one of these Dual lands. Did we find one of those before? Must have. I must. I'm thinking it was like ten bucks or something. Um, how much is a wooded foothills? Awesome. Please tell me there's a bunch of fetch lands right here. All right, frontier bivouac is nothing. Wooded foothills and a grand warlord rata. Twenty-two bucks for the foothills. Flip. Hey, yeah, there's a Full Art Forest, cool. And a Mind Over Matter, cool. Uh, I believe that's a Reserve List card. And probably see some play in some kind of goofy deck. Choose and discard a card, tap or untap target artifact creature or land. Costs a million, though. Mirari's Wake, okay, that's good. 13 bucks. Oh boy. What is in here? Mana Confluence. Good card. 10 bucks. Parallel Lives. I think we found one of those before. Yep, it was over 10 bucks. Genesis Wave. Okay, we're in a little stack of goods right here. Windswept Heath. Yes. More fetch lands, please. Okay, that was it for the bonus box. Can you even believe it? I can't. <clears throat> wow. Okay, so now I'm going to actually try to get into the good stuff. <laughs> What's going to happen then? All right, I will clear this again and I'll be back. Okay, continuing on. Now I'm into the deck boxes that look like it had some pretty good stuff in it. Um, they may just be vanilla um, commander decks right out of the package. They may have been souped up. I don't know yet. Um, but at this point, everything is gravy. This is actually the stuff that I was hoping was going to be good enough to make me my money back. Uh, but here we go to find out what do I end up with and I'm gonna start with this red box Collective Brutality. Oh, that's decent. But bing, 15 bucks. Okay. There's something decent in here. Got it. Bastion Protector. There we go. That's a good one. Six bucks there. Fly Voice of Plenty in foil. Yeah, eight bucks for a foil Shalai. Great. Maybe 
getting solemn simulacrum from M12. Five bucks for that one. The M12 about the same. Council's Judgment, we had seen those before. That was a good card. But Bing, I want to say it was over ten bucks. Rancor, a good Gauntlet of Power. Let's see. 16 bucks. That's good. Urza's Incubator. $8. Fiery Confluence. Okay. Nine bucks there. Here we go, Karlov. 12 bucks, wow, I did not realize that would be good. Let's see what it is. Karlov of the Ghost Council, legendary creature, spirit advisor. Whenever you gain life, put two 1-1 one -one counters on Karlov. Pay a black and a white, remove six plus one, plus one counters from Karlov and exile target creature, right? Get rid of what you don't want from the board. So that's a winner. Daybreak Cornet. Still eight bucks for that printing. That's a winner. Merciless Eviction, which we had seen before. Or a little bit. And Greater Aromancy, $35. There we go. It gets its own pile right there. Okay, Lightning Greaves. Seven bucks. And there, Phyrexian Arena. That's gonna be pretty decent. There we go. Uh, Doomwake Giant. Didn't even need to look. Black Market. Oh yeah, good. Grasp of Fate, so I've seen one of these before. It's pretty good. 14 bucks for a Grasp of Fate. Great. Come on. Wow, okay, that's a good one. Karmic Justice is 8.97. Great. Mizix. 660 for an Mizix of the Ismagus. Ismagnus. The Shifting Flame. Mizix's Mastery. Oh, there we go. $12 card right there. Preordain. Those are always good. Being Epic Experiment is probably nothing. And a Rite of Replication finishes off this deck, which was pretty decent.